Hello guys, welcome back to playing with Raggedy Boy, and today I'm back on my Attack of the Beat Team server. Um, so, I did a little bit, uh, not too much really, off camera, well actually I did a lot, but I will show you that in a moment. Whoa, that's, <coughs> whoa, that was weird. Okay, now, let's go check, ooh, look at this, harvesting. This is a planter. Oh, that's where all those went. Okay. Okay, so this is what I want to do today, guys. Why does not. That seems like it shouldn't be like that. I don't know why. Okay, so. Uh, what I want to do. Is real quick for this. Uh, where am I? Witchery. Okay, witchery. And circle magic. Let's take this. Uh, right here. Right of binding. Pulls the circles into the tal tal talisman. Talisman. Yeah, that's how it's spe er, spelled. Yeah. Okay. So I did make factory blocks. And you'll see what I did with those in a moment. Uh, oh. I'm s there we go. Oh gosh. That's not how you spell witchery. Witchery. Okay. Where might that be? Uh, there. Circle talisman. Talisman. Tal talisman. I don't know. Um, let's see. Where is the... I have this. I need some... Okay. My inventory is way too crowded right now. Let's just go ahead and put this in like that. And now I will take these two gold nuggets one of these and one of these there we go I don't know why I had the stone in there that makes no sense to me at all but okay now let's take uh, maybe one two three four four of those or five you know that works too uh, there you go I was also making factory blocks there where did I put the okay here we go and uh, that's right. Okay, now we can do this. And I need one, two, three of these. And then I can just put it... Let's go ahead and the first one... Uh, where is... The, oh, duh. I moved the book out and now I can't find it. Um, circle... T uh, pulls the circles into the... Okay, so... We're going to take this, put it in, whoops, that's right, I forgot that I changed the button to do that, okay, and, unknown right, um, right of binding, pulls the circles into the talisman, pulls the circles into the tal- Hmm. Oh. Oh, duh. I need the redstone. Okay. We can do that as well. Let's take the redstone. So, one of those. And one of those. Now, we should be able to. And, are they gone? Yep, there you go. So, now, when I want... Uh, do a circle. Let's say we just place it and there you go. And then uh, that basically just makes it a portable a nice portable circle talisman and can I put these back? Yes I can. So if I wanted to say move this circle over here uh, I keep doing that and then I could just go ahead and do this and say, okay, I want to take that over to the other place. Well, that's simple now because I can just take it over and not get killed by any monsters. Die, die, die. And just go ahead and place it right there. Pretty nice. 
Well, that's actually cool how that played out. Huh. Okay, let's move all of this other stuff out of the way. Okay. Um. Okay, come on. Did I just pick up the circle tile? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, okay, and we take these. No, go away. Go away, Bo. You're not, you don't belong in my inventory. Now, finally, get rid of all these bones from the skellies of death. And remember that my redstone is in here. Okay, take that. Um, you will go here, and you will go here, and blah. Oh, that could be an issue. Well, honestly, it doesn't matter, because all I need to do here is... Okay, come on, really? C really, guys? You don't need to be here. Y you don't need to be here. You should die. Okay. Uh, now, let's see. Where, where was the... Uh, how does the placement go again? Um... Let's start right here, like this. Uh, one, two, three, one. One, two, three. Uh-oh. That wasn't right. Go away. No, no, I don't want that, because that, then it'll probably destroy everything else. And, you know, that's not too good. Two, three. One, one, two, three, one. I don't really think that's going to work. Okay. The spacing is... Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm, 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 Well, you know what? We're not doing uh, witchery right now. I'll just do the rest off camera, but yeah. Let's go ahead and go down to the real project at hand here. Um, so here we go. This is where I was, this is what I was building. Pretty much all you, blah, 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 blah. evil. This is this is what I was building yesterday, and um, it looks pretty nice. Uh, obviously, you've already seen this part. Uh, you've seen that 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 that. But we have this. These tunnels marked with this. Only Ragged Boy can go through the tunnels marked with this block. So unless you are, unless I allow you to come through here, don't. If you're not authorized, my guards will attack you. Only people I told can come through these tunnels are allowed. If you would like to enter these tunnels, talk to me. If you are not authorized, guards will attack you. A tunnel marked with this block is free access to anyone. Free access to anyone. So, let's go down these tunnels. This took forever. Just getting the right block placement to make it look like this, it took so long. I I was done playing after I did that. I was said, okay, it's finished. I'm done. I'm not gonna do any more of this today. So I stopped, and that brings us to here now. Uh, let's just put these bag. Uh, we'll put the resources bag. We'll put all of this in the resources bag, and then oh wait, no 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 no, you go in there too. And then we can open the witchery bag and put the resources bag in the witchery bag, I hope. Dang it. I was hoping that would work. It doesn't, though. Oh, well. Now, let's take this and see. Where, what are we going to build back here? Hmm? Well, I don't know either. So, but I was thinking it would probably just be, you know, um... Possibly, you know, it'll probably just be my chest room. So, let's just go ahead and dig this down a bit more. Okay, it's getting dark. Uh, go away. Now, we'll put these down. Oh, stupid gravel. No, no, bad gravel. You're not supposed to be here. Die. 
Die. Die. Die. Die. There we go. Problems. No. No. No, no, you're not allowed. No. That's right. You're dead now. Uh, okay. <laughs> now that that's done. Uh. See, I don't understand why this. This right here. It. It takes out dirt pretty easily, but nothing else makes no sense at all to me. I mean, other than the fact that it's like uh, an axe and a a hoe, but I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense since that's used in dirt, but you know, um, it'd be pretty m much more, way more useful if it could work on any block like, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? It's so much gravel that I'm not going to be able to get rid of it all. Okay, yeah, I will. But, you know, <laughs> who would think? Why is there so much gravel here? I've never seen this much gravel. Except for in the nether and pot, and sometimes underwater. Because if you've ever been under the oceans, you know, sometimes you see a bunch of, a bunch of gravel on the floor of the ocean. But... That's about where it stops right there. I don't see that much more gravel in other places. Oh, sorry, I need to e uh, adjust the mic. If that came up, I'm not even sure, but... Okay, and now... This is pretty uh, interesting, isn't it? So, I kind of want to show you what it's like building this. Uh, actually, is this my resources back? Yes, it is. Get rid of you, 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 go away. So, uh, basically what I usually do is I go, okay, let's go get the normal pathway out. So, I'll just either do this or mine straight down at the pick. So, as soon as we get that out, we finally, uh, I'm just going to stop right there for now. We go ahead and place these blocks. And in case you're wondering what block it is, it is the factory block rusty metal plate. Which chisel allows you to get pretty easily. And then I just go all the way back and place all of these blocks until we've got a nice metal flooring right there. And then, you know, I would keep going and mining it down but first let's start with oh my gosh this is going to be annoying annoying to build and you'll see why in a moment okay uh, okay and there we go so let's start by taking no bad redstone let's start by taking out all of these and then I can show you what I do next. Come on. Okay, right there is good. So then I go ahead and I take these carpenters wedge slope. Really? You decided to stay. Not good. See? And then I just go across like that. And then straight down the middle I'll just go ahead and break these blocks. And then... I, hey... That's not nice. Now you're dead. Why do I keep saying the blocks are dead? You know, the blocks weren't really alive in the first place. This doesn't make much sense. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. I thought I, I thought I made a uh, mess up, but I didn't. Uh, there we go. Is this, this is the right one. No, it's not. There we go. Okay, and then I can go down like this. And basically that's all I do all the way down and then I go up to the top one see this is where it gets a little hard to build because I had to remove all of that so now I have to come through and the only reason I'm only replacing this is because everything else is gonna get placed above it so it's not really gonna matter if why are you doing that you you evil 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 block stay no, there we go, there you go, there, 
finally. These blocks just don't cooperate sometimes, but the end result is worth it because it looks really nice. For example, this. This, uh... What did I do there? Oh, no. I don't... Okay. Let's see. There we go. I fixed it. So basically what I did there... Oh, hey, bad luck. Basically what I did there was I take one of these, which is the oblique interior slope, and then I would take exterior slope and put it right under the interior one, and then it's just the opposite on the uh, floor. You take the triangle first and then the uh, this one. Okay, and then I would go through like so and put these down uh oh okay so I'm gonna do a little bit of off camera work and I will be back and we can decide about the room which I think I'm gonna make my storage room so I will finish this hallway up and I will see you in a second. Okay guys, and I'm back, and... <clears throat> I finally finished this. Uh, I wasn't sure what to do with the walls, so I just did this. It actually, it's a, it's a little bit annoying, but, you know, I'm not gonna go in here very often. I mean, you know, it's just... Basically... Honestly, actually, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have something like this. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh. Bleh. No. Oh, I could have just done that. Oops. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. Pick that up. And then we can put this back. Back back. Yep, that's how you say things. Back back. Uh, <laughs> and then we can take this and put that on so basically we're just gonna have a chest right here so the chest is gonna go right there and we'll have the request pipe coming through here and then the chest up there for the request pipe to put things in so and then you can come back here and this is where we'll set up all the chests and the pipes and yeah so that is uh... what i'm doing here and i'm almost out of food I mean, I literally don't have anything else except this bread, which could be an issue. But luckily, I completely forgot about my harvester up there. And it's been harvesting to its heart's content. Oh. This is really annoying. I've got to find whatever key this is. If any of you know what key it is, or what part of the uh, mod pack it is that's doing this, please tell me, because it's getting really annoying. Um, I'm not going to do anything about it right now. I might just not do anything about it at all. But, um, we'll just leave it be right now. Let's head up. We Splat. And, let's see, where is the, uh, there we go. See all this? All of this. There's even more bread in there, and then more breads uh, in here going right now. So there's a lot of bread that I'm going to have after a while. Uh, for now, I'm just going to throw everything that I don't need in here. Because, honestly, you know, I don't need it. So that's where it's going to go. He never liked you anyways, blocks. Actually, no. They're, they look nice on walls, but still... Okay, and see, um, I think it's done its job there. 
So basically it would put... No, no, it hasn't. I guess everything hasn't grown yet. Oh. What? What? That is weird. Why would it do that? If, if it was facing this way, and it... Why would it put things in that chest when the axis point right here goes in there? That makes no sense at all to me. Um... Let's turn this around. Oops. Go away. There. Okay, uh, we've still got it. Ooh, sludge. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. I'll do something with it, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it's harvesting. It's harvesting. Is it getting the seeds? Okay, that's kind of annoying that these aren't transferring. I mean, I'm getting them in the chest system. I, I keep saying chest. The chest system. But they won't go... In there. This one works, I think. I think they're all going into here. Because I must have set it up so that it's like, okay, we'll, br we'll bring it over here. And that's what it's doing. Even though I didn't tell it to do that, but, you know, actually that's kind of convenient. But, okay, I was going to do something. What was that? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember what I was going to do. So basically, the plant is just planting backwards and forwards over here. Uh, oh yes, I will, before I end the episode, which I will do, I wanted to show you how much tr string I got because it kept harvesting this cotton. Look at all the string I got. I got at least 400, no, maybe 600 string when I came back. I saw all these cotton balls, and I had to take them all out, transfer them over there. It took a while, but still. I think off camera I'm going to set up the chest room, and when you guys come back, I'll have a bunch of chests set up, and I hopefully will make them all diamond, just to have maximum space, but, you know, we'll see. Um, so anyways, thank you for watching, guys, and I, I will try to fix this, the uh, red lines of destiny coming down from the sky. If you follow them, they say, if, if you go into them, you get blown up. It's like a laser beam. It shoots you and it shoots you in the eye and then your eye decides it doesn't like the light and it leaves your skull and then you die. Yeah, that's exactly what happens with these. No, it's not. Uh, so, again, I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a like and also leave any feedback you'd like in the comments. And, um, I guess I will see you next time.